What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in the Cali's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. At this point, I would say the Lakers hit rock bottom. They haven't found any trades before the trade deadline. They didn't come through on any deals. No deals made sense for them and for other teams. And they're really just at the buyout market just to see what's out there. And from what I'm hearing, now the Lakers have interest in a former player that they had before, uh, just about a year ago or so, just because it seems like they've hit rock bottom. And, you know, I don't know if LeBron James is happy or not, but if I had to guess, I would say no. He's dealing with Russell Westbrook. Um, Russell Westbrook is trying to console him a couple games ago, him and Anthony Davis, and they're not even looking his way. You know, he's looking at the situation where this is not an opportunity for him to go out on his throne and win. This is a, this is more of an opportunity or a situation, I should say, for him to go out the wrong way. And, you know, if the signs keep pointing this way, if Bronny gets drafted next year to whatever team, he's definitely probably going to leave the Lakers just to go there because there's no need staying on this team if they're going to keep Russell Westbrook, if they're not going to make any changes because they don't have an opportunity to win. As long as you got Russell Westbrook on your team, your chances of winning are very, very slim because his decision making is always going to come back to haunt you. And I'm, I'm almost tempted to say, even if they allow him to come off the bench and do his thing or play the, at the level they want him to or let him be himself. I don't know if that's going to work because you still might find yourself in situations where when he comes off the bench and goes into play because he's not comfortable playing off the bench, he might go out there and have more turnovers and more mistakes. So you might have a 10, 20 point lead that might get sliced in half or the other team might tie the game up just because you know Russell Westbrook went out there and played his game and allowed the other team to come back you know so it, it, it even though a lot of analysts are saying that's the way to go let him come off the the bench with the second unit I'm not even sure if that's going to work at this point because mentally a player has to be mentally ready to do that and they have to be you know um all in for the team to do that and I'm not sure Russell Westbrook is all in for the team to make that transition because I still feel like Russell Westbrook feels like he's a number one guy an alpha on a team you know a starter in this league so I mean it's hard to really say he'll do that but at the same time if he doesn't they really don't have any chance to me but at the same time we'll see how the rest of the season pans out but right now definitely not looking good for the Lakers and this is the as I said before this is the worst Laker team I've seen because I see three superstars on the floor who can't beat teams that shouldn't even be on the same floor with them even if one of the superstars sits out they still need to find ways to win I mean like I said a couple nights ago against the Blazers no Damian Lillard no CJ McCollum and they traded two of the other players away and you still lose with LeBron and AD on the floor there's nobody on the Blazers that should be able to stop them there's nobody on that team that really has a good enough name household name that stands right beside LeBron and AD they should have beat them by at least double digits and got that game over with and moved on to the next. But they find themselves getting beat by teams like that because ultimately their problem really isn't all Rus Russell Westbrook. Their problem is their defense. They can't defend anybody. And your best player on the team is one of your worst defenders in LeBron James because LeBron can't defend the way he used to. He can't play at that high level on both ends of the floor. He can't carry a team the way he used to. And this is where the Lakers really have a bad situation because you can't just trade LeBron James. He's your best player. And you don't want to ever tell LeBron James to come off the bench because he's your best player. And if you do tell him to come off the bench, they really don't have a chance at all because he's your best player. So it's like, it's, it's a very, very confusing situation. And Anthony Davis hasn't taken over that number one role like they thought he would by now. Like, honestly, I thought he would by now, but he hasn't. He, he He's still stagnant in that same you know, option two player on the team. And then there's times where he plays like a top 10 player. Then there's times where he plays like a top 20, 25 player in the league. So, I mean, it's like you don't get no consistency out of him. And on top of that, you can't get any consistency just because of his injury history. So, I mean, it's very, very uh, unfortunate. But as far as the uh, former player, not to get too far off topic, um, the former player they're having interest in in the buyout market is Dennis Schroeder. Now, they had Dennis Schroeder, I believe, last year, 
and he played fairly well for them during the regular season. I think he fell on his face, basically, the latter part of the season going into the playoffs in the first round where they got knocked off by the Suns. Um, and they really, really just didn't, you know, they weren't too fond of him since then, you know, and then the contract situation he had, you know, which was kind of iffy and questionable and things like that. But I mean, hey, uh, it, it, it is what it is, you know. So um, it, it's just one of those things where you, you look at it and, and you say to yourself, what can the Lakers do? to to better themselves and really it isn't much at all for them to do because like I said the team that they have and the roster that they have even if they add a piece like Dennis Schroeder I'm not sure he's not going to clear up all your problems he's not going to make everything go away because to me their biggest issue is defense so unless they get some defensive players there who can guard the rim and who can protect and who can move their feet on the perimeter and guard guys from the perimeter to the basket and play better defense they're not going to be much of a better team than what they are now because as I said every team that plays them has the same notion you can we can get what we want all we have to do is start letting the ball go through the basket. All we got to do is start making shots. We can get any shot we want. They allow us wide open threes. They allow us lanes to the basket. They have wide open gaps going to the basket. It's just too easy when you play the Lakers. The Lakers can build a 20-point lead, but it, it can evaporate so easily because unless they're absolutely on fire from offense, their defense is definitely not their best friend. And a lot of teams see that. A lot of teams know that. And a lot of teams get that. You know, so... When when you see that in its entirety, it, it makes the Lakers a very, very vulnerable team. And the fact that their best player can't defend at the high level he used to, well, that makes it even more easier for teams to go at them because they're not scared of LeBron anymore because LeBron is not as fearful as he used to be. And Anthony Davis is injury prone. And Russell Westbrook can't find his way in the offense the way a lot of people thought he might could. Um, and it's just a utter mess when you look at the Lakers. So right now, if they do get Dennis Schroeder or maybe one other piece, maybe a John Wall. I don't know what, what why they would do that because that's almost like, you know, trading a problem for a problem possibly. But uh, him for West, Westbrook or something like that, whatever the case may be. But if they do get, you know, Dennis Schroeder or somebody from the buyout, I'm not sure how much it's going to help them win. But I mean, definitely at this point, they're just trying to look for any positive hope or any positivity that can, you know, you know, better their chances. I don't believe it's him, but at the same time, I mean, you do what you got to do. And as you know, Lakers organization this year specifically, uh, this is the worst I've seen the organization make decisions. I don't know if they need to hire Magic Johnson back or somebody like that or, you know, hire Jerry West back from the Clippers. Who knows? But right now, the decision making is really, really bad. And uh, right now, the, the Lakers look like they're at rock bottom to me. So unless something really dr dramatically or drastically changes, they might be his way for the rest of the season going into the next but hey, that's my take on everything. You leave any comments in the comment section as always. And uh, hey, Cali out.